But being barbecue, there are no shortcuts. Each morning, Amy starts by stoking the fire in the smoker. It's a man's world, you know, man and fire. What about woman and fire? I love barbecue. It's an art. Amy calls her brand of cooking Pacific Northwest Barbecue. Because I use Pacific Northwest woods. This is apple here, and these here are cherry. I also have some nectarine in the big pile over there. And each morning, she inspects a shipment of fresh meat. Awesome. The only freezer we have here is for the ice cream. That's the only thing frozen here. And mixes up a batch of her super secret rub recipe. No one knows the recipe. And uh, it's my retirement. <laughs> Amy's recipes are so popular. This year, she's cooked up 50,000 pounds of pork shoulder, 50,000 pounds of beef brisket, and 15,000 racks of ribs. Nice. That was beautiful. The taste is very unique. It's mouth-watering. It's just, it's to die for. It's just really, really good. But even with a booming business, competition is still calling. You guys are going to see me on the road because I'm going to be back competing again. Back at the pits, the teams are still in the thick of it. In just a half hour, it'll be time to fork over their third entry, pork. They could cook a whole shoulder or a smaller portion like pork butt. Pork shoulder, generally, you just smoke it and smoke it and smoke it, and it should just fall apart. Mad Mama's team had a little problem with their pork. Things didn't go quite as planned. I planned for eight pounds and cooked it for eight pounds, and it, it wasn't cooking, so I had to grill a little bit. For presentation purposes, the teams can either slice the pork or shred it by pulling it apart. We were noticing three hours before turn in, it, it wasn't going to pull. So we had to do a little magic. Thanks to a little direct heat from the grill, looks like Mad Mama's going to pull it off after all. Along with tender shreds of pork, this team also likes to include some of the crispy crust. 